Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to the special episode of Smile to Jannah. I got my two bros here. Oh. Assalamu alaikum. This is very uncomfortable. Smile to Jannah! <laughs> How do you do? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. No, no, no. It's Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, he's got in one. Moving swiftly. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna react to a video on Jeremiah Wright. Okay. So Jeremiah Wright is the priest, well, used to be the priest of Obama, mm. yeah, before he became president. Mm. So Jeremiah Wright, in fact, Obama uh, and his family had a very good relationship with him. Right. When he became president, they cut contact off him. He took this country by terror away from the Sioux, the Apache, the Arawak, the Comanche, the Arapaho, the Navajo. Terrorism. We took Africans from their country to build our way of ease and kept them enslaved and living in fear. Terrorism. We bombed Grenada and killed innocent civilians, babies, non-military personnel. We bombed the black civilian community of Panama with stealth bombers and killed unarmed teenagers and toddlers, pregnant mothers and hardworking fathers. We bombed Gaddafi's home and killed his child. Blessed are they who bash your children's head against a rock. We bombed Iraq. We killed unarmed civilians trying to make a living. We bombed a plant in Sudan to pay back for the attack on our embassy killed hundreds of hard working people mothers and fathers who left home to go that day not knowing that they never get back home we bombed Hiroshima we bombed Nagasaki and we nuked far more than the thousands in New York and the Pentagon and we never batted an eye they say the bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki they didn't have to be dropped yeah 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 I heard that as well yeah they didn't have to be dropped but they were still yeah. dropped the only country to drop uh, they, were looking, they were looking for an excuse, just an experiment probably. Yeah. Kids playing in the playground, mothers picking up children after school, civilians, not soldiers, people just trying to make it day by day. We have supported state terrorism against the Palestinians and black South Africans, and now we are indignant because the stuff we have done overseas is now brought right back into our own front yards. America's chickens. What? Coming home to roost. Americans' chickens are coming home to roost is a famous Malcolm X quote. He delivered this after 9 11. Oh, serious? So rather than saying, oh, it's a Muslim problem, yeah. it's this problem, that problem, he uh, immediately went to the root. Wow. Yeah? And just like everything. Did he, did he end up being overdosed, found it? Or is he still alive? <laughs> no, he, Fox just laid into him and said, no, he's an extremist, he's this, yeah. he's that, he's, and they just tried to disparage and yeah. character assassinate. But he, he, he spoke facts there. Yeah. I mean, all of that stuff happened, right? 100%. So, like, there's a clear double standard. And from the Islamic perspective, you know, when, when we think about this, things like this happen because of man-made laws. Yes. You know? yes. Man-made laws. Any laws that are made by men Men are unjust. As as our nature, yeah. we are not perfect. So anything we do will not be perfect. Yeah. So if we make laws and try and live by them, they too will not be perfect. There will be complete injustices in them yeah. laws. Yeah. That's why in Islam we believe that we should be living under God's laws. Yes. But you know. Yeah, but that yeah, that's the reason you have today. Musa things, wants Sharia law. Sharon law. <laughs> that's why you see today things uh, how they change. Look, you see communism. That's why. That's why you see today communism doesn't work. Capitalism doesn't work. This right, give him that right. Start having bloody animals. Yeah, give him that right. Yeah, go uh, abuse uh, everything. It's just you see how it's man-made that you just like, oh yeah, you want that? Okay, yeah, you get that right as well. It's just we're so lost with what do what what do human beings want? Violence begets violence. Hatred begets hatred, and terrorism begets terrorism. Yeah, we can't even bother to learn about this. To some of you guys, this will be all new knowledge. In fact, some people say, oh, brother, why are you talking about this? You know, but th th this is part of our society. Smart Jannah, <laughs> what are you doing? The point that I'm trying to say is, guys, please read. Yeah? yeah, you must learn and switch off the TV. If you don't know about World Bank, IMF, if you don't know about interventions, if you don't know about GMO foods, if you don't know who is actually pulling the strings and you genuinely think Republican, Democrat or Labour and Conservative actually makes a difference, you need to sort yourself out. You know one yeah. last point I want to make based on what you just said? 
a lot of people will respond to that statement that you just made and say, but I'm not a reader. I'm not the type of person that can't, I can't read. I just don't read anything. I don't pick up a book and read it. You're lying. Every single person that I know reads. When you're on your phone and you're scrolling through Instagram and you're reading all of these memes and you're on Facebook reading all of your friends' Facebook posts and you're on Twitter going through all of the rubbish that people are tweeting, yeah. what are you doing? That's that's not pictures. That's your reading. Yeah, you're your bad, reading you're, text. You're reading rubbish. But you're filling, th- you're filling your mind with nonsense. <laughs> yeah. The difference with reading a book is you're actually choosing to fill your mind with what's good for you. Yeah. Make the choice. That's the same thing I, I, I said to him. I said, I'm not a person that reads. He said, you do read. And he said exactly the same thing to me. And f- since that day, I, <laughs> I try my best to read. Because it's that's such a sick amazing. point. All of these things, even if they didn't touch you hearing them, one thing that should make you realise is that there's a lot of stuff out there that you don't know about. These people are out there. Yeah. They are truth tellers. But the thing is, you'll never see them on mainstream media because it just doesn't fit the agenda. Exactly. Yeah. So even if you're a Muslim watching and you think everyone's against you, everyone's not against you. Yeah. You just have to look a bit deeper, mm. a bit harder. Like in Lion King, when he said, "Look harder." <laughs> <laughs> in the jungle, <laughs> the mighty jungle, Zishan sleeps tonight. <laughs> Okay, guys, just, uh, don't know what's happening now. I think <laughs> <laughs> I think it's too late. And I, <laughs> I think we need to conclude the video now. But inshallah, subscribe to my brother Musa Adnan. Subscribe to my brother, <laughs> even though he doesn't need it. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't need to unsubscribe it. from Ali Dawa <laughs> so I'm we sure, can I'll catch up to him. But uh, goodbye. Yeah.